Okay, welcome back. I've done nothing except for just save right there. Close the church. I'm still in black space, as you can probably see. Sonny, the truth is here. We've been running from this for so long. But this time, we can face it together. Sonny, why did it end up like this? Sonny, I'm... I'm so sorry. Will you forgive me, my best friend? Do you want to save Basil? Yes. something out there, it's calling me, and it's calling you too. Let's go together. I'm... I'm so sorry. Will you forgive me, my best friend? Please, it hurts. Tell them to let go. Wait, what are you doing? Tell them to stop. Please tell them to stop. Help me. Oh. Did you just stab him? God. I'm not walking right now. Oh, Jesus. What is happening? I was really worried that that was going to be the ending and I was going to throw a tantrum. <laughs> It's 
Mari. Where's Hero? You know, all seasons were always my favorite. That's why I chose this song for our last recital. But you always hated it, didn't you? How I'd lock myself away on the piano, all that practicing, playing the same song over and over. When you first picked your new violin, you were so eager to play it with me. But keeping it with something isn't so easy. Maybe I pushed you too hard. I'm sorry. I just wanted to be perfect. You never did get to play at our last recital. Did you want to play with me now? Aww. Hero. Well, you scared me there, Sonny. Sorry for bursting in like that. I could have sworn I heard some music. You must miss Mari a lot. It's been hard for me, too. I still think about her every day. I just don't understand why she chose to leave us the way she did. But I knew her as a person who would always want all of us to be happy, even if it was without her. Did she commit suicide? She leave her the way that she did. You should really get some rest. Go upstairs. I'll come join you in a bit. The word of Mori is hatching across the center. <sighs> What's gonna be in the mirror? It's Mari. One day left. Hey Sonny, it's Mommy. Are you doing okay? You haven't been answering my calls or responding to my voicemails. If you keep ignoring me, I'll start to get worried again. I hope you're pacing your chores. I don't think even I could finish everything in one day. Did you end up visiting Kel? If not, it's alright. I understand. Just take things at your own pace. By the way, can you check the closet downstairs and see if there's anything you want to keep? We'll probably just throw away whatever you don't want anymore. There's only two days left before I come and pick you up. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Good morning, Sunny. Rise and shine. I noticed the to-do list with the chores your mom gave you, so I finished them all. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> also, I made you breakfast. Come down and get it while it's still warm. Kel's are already on a second plate. Let's check the mirror. Nope. Nothing. Sonny, you better start eating before I finish it all. I already ate most of the bacon, though. I think he's wearing a little cooking apron. <laughs> Another plate of bacon. Another plate of bacon, Jesus. Oh boy, all for me. Thanks a bunch, bro. Huh. Who could that be? I'll go get the door. It's you! <laughs> What's all this? What the heck, Cal? Oh, she's a part of Aubrey's group. What's going on over there? Dang it, Cal. Now I have eggs all over me. Well, I'm sorry, but you're the last person I expect to see here. What are you doing here, anyway? I was just about to get to that. It's just... It's Aubrey. She's not answering her door. Or her back door. Or the rocks we've been throwing at her window. She was really upset yesterday. I know this is your fault somehow. Tell me what you did to her. We didn't do anything. She's the one with the problem. Hold on, Kel. If Aubrey's that upset, we should at least try to do something to help. This is Aubrey we're talking about. We've all known each other since we were kids. You weren't there when she pushed Basil into the lake. I told you. She's different now. We shouldn't bother with people like her. It's true that she's changed, but it doesn't change the fact that I still care about her. And even if she doesn't show it, I'm sure Aubrey still cares about me too. She's just like, that's just the kind of person she is. 
I don't know about that. Today is our last chance to do this before Sunny leaves. There's no way I can just let it end like this. We should at least try to talk to her. Well, me and Sunny can tag along, but you're going to have to do this the one to talk. You're going to be the one doing the talking. She listens to you the most. Thanks, Kel. Hey, Kim. Thanks for asking us for help. You're a good friend. Huh? Uh, sure, whatever. Why don't you head out first? We'll meet you there. Okay then, see ya. Yo Sunny, thanks for letting us sleep over last night and for spending the last few days with me. You're a real friend. High five. Every time. I always lose my way here. It's down, right? To the left. Basil's height is to the right. Oh, here's everybody. Aubrey isn't feeling well. How could this be? There must be a work, the work of something sinister. Perhaps an evil mastermind. We must track him down at once. Hello? Is anyone there? Come to think of it, have we ever been inside Aubrey's house before? I don't think so. She's always come over to play with us. I don't remember hanging out at her house at all. Hello, Aubrey? Is anyone at home? Oh, it looks like the door was open. Let's go inside. She has a pet bunny. Hey, Aubrey, how are you feeling? What the heck are you guys doing here? Get the hell out of my room. We're sorry for intrusion. It'll only take a bit. We just wanted to make sure you were okay. I'm fine. I've been hearing some things, but I just wanted to hear from you. Can you tell me what happened yesterday? Nothing happened. You pushed myself into the lake. You know he can't swim. I didn't mean to do that. I just meant to push him away. He could have drowned. I said it was an accident. Look, I'm sorry, okay? You're the one who keeps showing up and acting like you're better than everyone. Well, you're the one going around blowing Basil and stealing his stuff. Stop talking like you know anything about that. I keep telling you that it's none of your business. But it is my business. You, you and Basil, and everyone here, you are my best friends. Alright, alright. I see the problem here. This is just your typical Kel and Aubrey fight. Just make up, you two. You've done it so many times before. Hey, these are the missing photos of Mari. There. They're all I have left of her. But you know it's still not right to take them from Basil. These photos belong to him. Well, it's no use now. Even if we have these photos, I already threw the rest away. That must, that must be a long gone by now. That's not true, Aubrey. Sonny has them right here. What? He does? But how? I could have sworn I threw them away in the trash. Unless you and Sonny... You really dug through my trash for this thing? <laughs> That's kind of gross. Aubrey, let's put Mari's photos back in the photo album. All of these photos. They belong together in one place. Come on, guys. We should do this together. I don't know where any of them go. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, this is um here. Oh. I'm assuming that uh, when uh, when first things first started getting weird, when Basil in the dream world said the photo reminded her of something, I'm assuming they were a photo of Mari. Because I don't remember seeing any photos of Mari. And like when we originally went through the sketchbook. Because, yeah, he even said that it was of someone. birthday today. I thought my friends forgot, but they all surprised me with a strawberry cake. I feel so lucky. The year is looking to be a good year. Another group photo. This was a little after I opened all my presents. Mari bought me this photo album and everybody else bought me the film for my camera. I tried my best to use it all. Mari and Hiro fell asleep on the couch. They look so cozy together. I hope they don't mind the photo. Mari's dad might be kind of mad if he saw it. You and Mari washing dishes from breakfast. We're staying over at Mari and Sun with Mari and Sunny this weekend. It's getting warmer lately, so we're about to go to the park. Tell us there's a secret lake area behind some bushes, so we're going to go check that out. Yes, yeah, their secret area. Oh yeah. It's already the last day of March. We're having a picnic with Mari at our secret lake spot. Mari wanted to take a picture of everyone. Say cheese. After eating all the food, everyone fell asleep except me, Hiro, and Mari. Something unfortunate happened when I was taking the photo. Um, thanks a lot, Hector. I'll have to cover it up with the tape later. I caught Mari carrying Sunny on the way home from school today. I must have fallen asleep on the bus. I thought it was so cute, so I got my camera out quick as I could to take a snap in a once in a lifetime photo. Sometimes I wish I had a sibling. Sunny and Cal gave up on making flower crowns to rain off, but Aubrey and I got the hang of it really fast. Everyone, think, everyone thinks a flower crown really suits me. Maybe just a flower is okay. Mari bought everyone popsicles, one of every flavor. Sunny got lemon, Hira got root beer, Cal got orange, Aubrey got watermelon, and Mari got grape. Mine was banana. It tasted okay. Mario says she wants to get a summer tan. I'm scared to fall asleep in the sun since I got sunburn real I get get sunburn real easily. I'm not sure what Kel's doing here, but he's probably having a good time. <laughs> he real sleeping on Mari. He's all tired out from swimming. Well, it seems like Mari won't be able to get off the summer tan after all. We're about to head home, but I managed to catch one last photo with Mari and Hira. They look so happy. A match made in heaven. Mari says the beetle is a giant stag. It's only fell off from a tree and surprised everyone. Hero is too grossed out to look. All of us hanging out in our in our brand new tree house. It looks like Sunny is finally reading the book I showed him. Yeah. I want to spend every day in here, but it's a shame that summer vacation is almost over. I hope you get to use the tree house in or next summer. 
Yeah, I was wondering where Mario was, he was on the right, I thought it was Sunny. Um, went to Hobbez to read the latest edition of Captain Space Boy. Everybody's going, got so into it right now. I'm sure it's all anyone is going to be talking about once school starts. I'm playing cards with Cal Hero and Aubrey. They're so easy to read that they can't hide, they can't hide anything on their faces. Mario baked everyone cookies from scratch. They were chocolate chip and super delicious, like always. It's like I have the winning hand, but nobody knows that yet. Sunny giving Mario a big hug. Mario doesn't come home until late now because she's taking extra classes to prepare for college. Me and Sunny have been hanging out a lot, but I'm sure he still misses her a lot. Mario practicing her part for a big recital next month. We're all going to go lunch. It's going to be Mario and Sunny's first performance together, but I know they'll do just fine. We'll all be showing our support from the audience. Mario's getting a little camera shot because she's made a small mistake. <laughs> Don't worry, Mario. Just keep going. No one will ever even notice. After some begging, Sunny came to join Mario for recital practice. We're still working out some stuff, but they've already sound so amazing. I know they're going to be great. Go, Mari. Go, Sunny. You can do it. Yes. There. Now everything is back where it should be. Looks like one photo is still missing, but at least the rest of them are back together. Now, doesn't that feel better? I wonder what that one photo is. We really did have a lot of fun together. Yeah. I guess we really did. I'm sorry, guys. I've been acting like such a jerk. I'm sorry, too, Aubrey. I really haven't been treating you so great, either. Alright, apologies, Septon. Now we can all be friends again. Who wants a hug? <laughs> Come on, here, not now. You're so embarrassing. I'm good, thanks. All we need to do now is check up on Basil. I hope he's feeling better today. Aubrey, knowing everything I heard from Kel, I'm sure you know you need to apologize to him. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Aubrey. It's good to have you back. Now let's go get you out of this house. Okay. Bun bun. in the hole in the wall. Yo, Aubrey, are you okay? Hey, Kim, I'm good. Thanks for bringing everyone here. Guys, guys, Aubrey is here. Yo, Aubrey, how are you feeling any better? We have saved a saf we saved a taffy for you. What happened in there? Your face is all red. Do you need do you need me to teach someone a lesson? Don't worry about me, guys. Sorry for ignoring you all earlier. Ah, that's no biggie. We're just glad you're alright. Right, Charlie? Yeah. Aubrey, Aubrey, let's go hang out at the park. I want to show you some cool new moves I came up with. I was up practicing all night. That sounds fun, but maybe later. I have some things to take care of first. I'll we'll hang out tomorrow, I promise. Okay. We'll see you later, then. Don't keep us waiting too long. You know I won't, Kim. I'll be back before you know it. Say something. Alright, to Basil's house. Hey Polly, how's Basil's doing? We we're wondering if we could hang out with him today. Oh, hello everyone. I'm afraid Basil isn't home right now. He's in the hospital. What? What happened? Oh, my apologies. Let me clarify. Basil's in the hospital visiting his grandma. She was rushed to intensive care yesterday evening. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. Do you know when he'll be back? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe sometime in the afternoon. Sorry. Would you mind if we checked back here later? We're all really worried about him. I don't mind at all. Please come by to visit. I think Basil would appreciate having some friends over. I'm happy to know that Basil has friends that care so much about him. Oh, it's nothing. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Right, Aubrey? Yeah, sure. Anyways, we'll be back later. See you, Polly. Okay, see ya. Well, I guess I have to wait until he gets back. Is there anything you guys want to do until then? I'm okay just hanging out and doing whatever. Then I vote some more indoors. It's way too hot today. Sure, maybe we can hang down at our house a little. And then later, when it cools down, we can go to see the treehouse. Oh yeah, we should do that. Especially since Aubrey's with us now, too. 
Our old tree house, huh? I haven't been there in so long. Yeah, we haven't yet either. We wanted to go see it yesterday, but it was too dark outside. How about you, Sonny? What do you want to do today? It's your last day, so you should call the shots. Yeah, you should decide how to spend the day last day in Fairway Town. Lead the way, Sonny. Guess we should go to Treehouse. The hair's back swinging, so... Oh, it's Mio. Back here. I'm sorry I cut you open in my dreams. How do we get in? You want to get into the backyard? It's like the sun is supposed to. Do you want to go see the treehouse now? Yeah. Um, that's that door to the right, I guess. The sliding glass door. Wow. I guess you really are moving away, huh, Sonny? When I see this empty house, it f feels all s it all feels so sudden. But for you, moving away must have been a long time coming. Hope you can find some peace out there. Or, you know, some happiness. There have been a lot of things that were unsaid these past few years, and painful memories that we keep to ourselves. But even through all of that, I'm really that we are still able to become friends again. I'm happy that you're all here. So that we can face this together. It's okay here. I'll go first. Hey Sony. When you move away, do you think it'd be too too much trouble if I if you could Aubrey, Sonny, are you guys coming? Actually, never mind. It's nothing. Oh, we saw in the dream of them cutting down the tree. This is Romari. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, the noose on the tree. She hanged herself on that tree. Jesus. Feels like forever ago. But I can still remember that day perfectly. That, that day was really busy. In the morning, I went out with my mom to buy some nice clothes and shoes. We spent all day shopping and didn't get home until afternoon. Remember that day too. I went out and got a haircut with Dad. Leah, you were with her with your dad too, Aubrey. We were preparing for something, weren't we? Yeah, we were. We were going to watch Mario and Sonny's musical recital. It was supposed to be that night, but when we came home in the evening. Even after all this time, I still don't understand why she would do it. I don't think I have any of us ever will. Hey guys, let's let's keep going. Yeah, they were cutting down the tree in the during in the black space, and uh, it had a noose hanging from it. <laughs> Shall we run down? Oh, there's the. Oh, this is uh, this is the neighbor's room. It has the cat, it has the TV, it has the plush thing, it has the toaster. Oh, this place has seen better days. It even has the cards on the floor. Looks like everything is right where we left it. Our old stuff is still here. Hey look, here's our playing cards. I was the best at cards game, wasn't I? Mr. Plant Egg. Oh, that's what that's the plus that she uses in the dream world. Oh, you're so dirty. Look at all these old books. So this is where all my cookbooks went. Ah, I think I just stepped on a jack. Oh man, such good times. <laughs> hmm. Why did we have a toaster in here? That's a good question. <laughs> that was the last picture. Don't forget, it's in the toy box. Oh yeah, we saw this earlier, but we never found a toy box. Where's the toy box? your pocket. 
Hey, look, Sonny found a photo of us. Where's the toy box? We all look so happy. Wasn't there a photo missing from the photo album? That must be it. Hey, you're right, Kel. Take out your photo album, Sonny. We should add it. I don't know where the toy box would be. Or what would be in it. I'm doing that just because it covers the photo. So, oh, there it is. Bacillus Memories. There. Now the photo album is complete again. No, this is probably the last time that we all be together here in this treehouse. Now that the photo album is complete, we should look through it one last time. Good idea here. The photo album is already out, so you might as well. Right, Sonny? Let's start from the beginning. Hmm. Well, we've read through it twice now, so... <laughs> Maybe even three times. Yeah, so... Oh, sorry. I miss her so much. Hi. I miss her too. Hey, come on, guys. Why are the one faces? Look at all this back together again. Mario would be so happy for us. Yeah, you're right. She would be. Funny Basil could be here too. Hey, Aubrey, what's up? Who? Probably don't know. We found out we couldn't use it. Aubrey's to play. Baseball bat. Mario used my softball, but quit when she injured her knee. Plants made from paper. Aubrey and Basil made these together. The calendar. The date of the recital has passed. Now, after everyone drifted apart, I felt so alone. But now I realize I was the one who was pushing everyone away. In the few months after Mari died, everything changed so fast. Sunny and Basil became more closed off. Kel made a bunch of friends playing sports, and Hiro always seemed to be busy studying. I was so angry how life kept on moving on. I felt like everyone abandoned me and abandoned Mari too. But I couldn't see that everyone but I couldn't see that everyone was doing with their pain in their own way. After Sonny stopped coming to school, I saw Basil sitting alone during lunch, so I asked him if he wanted to study together at his house. He seemed kind of uneasy about it at first, but after I begged him, he agreed. The walk there was really quiet, Basil wouldn't even look at me, and when we got to his room, I tried to talk to him, but he said he had to go to the bathroom and ran off. That's when I spotted his old photo album on his bookshelf. I just wanted to go through the photos because, well, I guess I just wanted to see everyone happy again. But when I opened it, I still had blacked out all the photographs with Barker. I couldn't believe it. He even blocked out Mari's face. All of our memories together, I felt like he destroyed them. I was so confused and angry. I thought he, he was a nutcase. So, instead of trying to understand him, I stole his photo album and started calling him Creep and things like that. And eventually, I wasn't the only one calling him names. I feel like scum for doing that now. But you know what? Ever since then, all I've been trying to do is cut myself off from everyone. It's kind of funny. What I've been doing is worse than what Basil did, yet yeah, I'm the one who's angry at him. I'm such an idiot. Hey, it's okay, Aubrey. We've all made mistakes. At the time, I didn't really understand what was happening. I was afraid that I somehow made things worse, so I just decided to stay out of it. Stay out of it. I'm really sorry, Aubrey. I'm sorry for you too, Sonny. That was a pretty crappy friend. You're still pretty young, didn't kill, but I'm the oldest, so I should have known to take care of everyone. I... I just... Uh, no, it's fine. Everyone's here now, so it's okay. I don't... I don't deserve friends like you. Don't be silly, Aubrey. Of course you do. During all this time, it's pretty obvious that you still cared about us. I mean, just look at the photos in the photo album. There's no trace of any black marks you were talking about anywhere. You can see all our faces just fine. I don't suppose they all just cleaned themselves, did they? It's alright, Aubrey. I promise from now on I'll always be there for you. Yeah, I promise too. 
should all be here for each other. Hey, you know what? I think this is perfect time for a big group hug. Group hug? Yeah, count me in. Wait just one sec. Ready or not, here we come. <laughs> just pushing Sunny along. Aww. <laughs> go see if Basil's back home later today. I need to apologize to him, and I think right now, he's probably the one that needs us the most. Alright, well, um, I'll end this part here. I, I have no idea. <laughs> like I said last time, I thought the ending was going to be this part, but nope, so, and we have to figure out what's in the toy chest. I think it's Sonny's violin. I assume so. So, I don't know, maybe next part's next part, I don't, next part is the last part, I mean, I, I don't know, but I guess we'll find out.